hi guys welcome back to the channel today i am lilian so today we'll be learning how to make this kit if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a new video thank you so much for your support let's get into it so guys for this particular style prepare three years of a car let's get started so place your pattern and foot that's after placing on pattern for what you're going to do i'm going to come down by one inch Okay, so when you're done doing that, what you're going to do at this point, come down by one inch. When you're done coming down by one inch, take your round wing measurement and then divide it by four. So mine is seven, I'll go in by seven at this point. Okay, so after going in by seven, take your ruler, connect it from that bone down to the one inch you came down with like this. Okay, so when you're done doing that, take your waist to hip measurement take it down mine is nine so i'm going to go down by nine inch i'm going to label it as my hip line and then whatever length you want to use go ahead from your waistline measuring down to that length so i'm using 22 so i'm going to go down by 22 inch so i'm going to impute my hip circumference by by four which is nine and a half inch and then my main circumference divided by four also is 8.2 so i'm also going to go in by 8.2 okay so when i'm done with that i'm going to connect both points so when you're done doing that what you're going to do you're going to include your sewing allowance okay so when we are done doing that i'm going to add half inch as my sewing allowance i'm going to add my one inch for hemming then go ahead and then take your paper scissors and cut out so after cutting on to get another paper then place your front pattern on it remember the front at the center line we went in by half by one inch so this is the back pattern we are not going to do that to the back pattern so from this point go add by one inch okay so when you're done go ahead and add your one inch as your zip allowance Go ahead and then cut out. Okay, so this is our front pattern, and then this is the back. So what you are going to do, you are going to bring back the front pattern now. So I'm going to use my tracing. So when you're done doing this, open it up. Okay, guys. So this is it. Remember, we folded into two, so there is already a line here indicating our center line. So we are going to go ahead and rule it. Okay, so after ruling this, what you are going to do, you are going to go out on this side by one inch and then go out on the other side by one inch. And then what you are going to do, you are also going to come to your waistline. From your waistline, you are going to come down by one and a half inch. Then you come over to this other side, come down by one and a half inch. Okay, so when you are done doing that, you are going to connect. Then you come over to this other side, you do the same thing. So this is it. So when you are done connecting, what you are going to do, you are going to cut that at this point. So take your paper scissors and then cut that. Okay guys, so this is it. So I'm going to set this aside, bring back the back pattern. So whatever you are doing for the back, remember we already added one inch as our zip allowance. So we are going to sew one inch off. So what you are going to do now, you are going to go in by two and a half inch okay so go in by two and a half inch and then come back to this point come down by one and a half inch take your ruler and then connect both points together when you're done connecting go ahead and label side back so that you know that this is the side for the back okay so we are going to also label this as side points this is it so we are going to go ahead and then cut this out also okay so this is it so we are going to cut out so what i'm going to do i'm going to add half inch on both sides go ahead and cut out okay, so this is after cutting out so guys you are also going to cut out the side both sides for the front so go ahead and then add half half inch here go ahead and cut out this is it for the front okay so this is it for the front pattern so what you are going to do now we are going to go ahead and then cut out the back pattern also so 
So go ahead, add your, your half inch as your seam allowance. Go ahead and cut out. This is it after cutting out. So we are going to cut out the side back. Before cutting out, remember you slice from here. So you are going to add your half inch. You are done adding your half inch allowance. Go ahead and cut out. When we are done cutting, what you are going to do, you are going to get your side back and your side front. Okay, so what you are going to do, I'm going to take off this paper now. Here's our side back. Then I will label this as my side front. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to join it right side facing the right side. So we are joining it right side facing the right side. This is the side back and then this is the side front. Okay, so we are going to join it first by the side. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin down. Okay, so when you're done, go ahead and then join by one inch. And then do the same thing with the other piece. And then join both parts by one inch. So I'll do just that and I'll bring it back. So guys, this is it after joining. Okay, so remember this is the hip. That is why it's a bit curvy. This is the inside. Okay, so what you are going to do, you are going to set this aside and bring back your fabric. So we are going to measure about 12 inches width. So you can use whatever length you want. Try and make it three times your, your skirt length. I'm going to go ahead and then cut out. What you are going to do, you are going to go ahead and sew in one side by half inch. So I'm going to do just that, then I'll bring it back. So guys, after sewing by half inch, this is it. I want the head to sew by half inch here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring back my side piece. Okay, this is the side back. And then this is the side front. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make gathers. Okay. So I'll be using needle because of this tutorial. Whatever you use in making your gathers, feel free to do that. So I want to use needle, so I will start from the down part. Remember we are going to turn by one inch, so you are also going to leave out one inch. So go ahead and use your machine, whatever you use, however you want to. Okay guys, so this is it. So I'm going to make sure that it's actually even, so I won't have much bail on a particular place and the rest is empty. So I'm going to lock at this point, cut out with the thread. I'm just going to arrange this like this. So I'm going to get my center front. Then I'm going to pin it down at this point like this. Then I'll do the same thing here. So also pin here. So when you come to the down part, you're going to fold in half inch. Okay, remember I'll be hemming it down by one inch. So make sure one inch upwards like this. So you are going to stop by that one inch. Okay, so just fold it at that one inch and then stop. And then take your center front, pin down also. I'm going to join by half inch. Guys, go ahead and join by half inch. So I'm going to do the same and then I'll bring it back. So guys, this is it after sewing. Okay, so I joined by half inch. Okay, so this is the back side. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the same thing here. So after joining the other piece, let's go to the back. Okay? So get your center back. So this is my center back. Remember, this is our side back. Okay, so this is our side back. So we are going to join right side facing the right side. Okay, so go ahead and the right side facing the right side. So going to go ahead and pin this down here. Okay, guys, okay, so when you're done pinning, this is it. So what you are going to do, just go ahead and stitch by half inch. I'm going to do the same thing with this other side. I'm going to get the back piece also. So right side facing the right side. I'm going to also go ahead and then join at this side by half inch. So I'm going to use seven inch as the back width okay, so i'm going to mark my seven inch 
So guys, I'm start cutting now. So just like we did before, I'm going to hem one side by half inch. Okay, and then I'll bring it back to show us. So guys, this is it. So I already sewed by half inch. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my phone skirts. Okay, so this is it. Okay, because we are working with the back now. We are also going to add our gathers here. So just like we've been doing, I'm going to also go ahead and then gather this. So just like we've been doing, you're going to go up by one inch. Then I'm going to get my side back. So get your side back, right side facing the right side. So you're going to pin it down. So when you're done, just like we've been doing, mark your half inch. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead now and then join by half inch. Okay, guys, so after adding the second piece, this is it. Okay, so what you're going to do now, go ahead, you do the same thing on this side. Okay, so go ahead, do the same thing with this side, just like we joined the other side. Go ahead, do the same thing. Add your gathers and then turn it with the other side back and then sew by half inch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the article. Okay, guys, so this is it. Okay, so this is it. So I added by half inch. So this is it. So just like we did there, you are going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do just that and then I will bring it back to show us the outcome. After joining the second part, this is what we have on. Then this is the other side. Okay guys, so what we are going to do next, we are going to cut out a band. Take your waist circumference from this end to the other end and then cut out a band. So I'm using 4 inches band, I already added state to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold by half inch on both sides. So I'm going to bring back my skirts. And so what you are going to do, just place it in between like this. Place your skirt in between like this. Okay, so don't place your skirt in between like this and then go ahead and top stitch by 0.2. So when you're done with top stitching, also go ahead and fix your zip. After fixing my pant, I went ahead to fix my zip. Okay, so I went ahead to fix my zip. So this is the final look. This is this is it. So this is the back. So what you are going to do now? Remember, we are yet to hem it down. Like I said, we should leave that one one inch at the down. So what you are going to do? Go ahead and hem it down. Then after hemming it down, the half inch I ask you to fold in with. Go ahead and then hem also with hemming gun. So do the same with this part. Hem also with hemming gun. And then also come over to the upper part, the half inch will fold in, use your hemming gum and hem, do the same thing with the second one, and then do the same thing to this side, hem with hemming gum by half inch, and then do the same thing here. So guys, this is the end of this video. So I'm going to fix this when I'm done, and then I'll show us the finish. Look, thank you so much for watching. So guys, here comes the final look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this up and wearing now, just click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I post it. Thank you so much and see you on my next video.